Greetings and welcome guys to a new video. So this thing just arrived in the mailbox today. This is a thermometer plus a hygrometer. Now what's special about this thermo hygrometer is that instead of an LCD display, this one has an e-ink display. Yes, the same e-ink display that you have on devices like Amazon Kindle. And apparently this one is from Xiaomi. So I bought this from AliExpress. So this is the page. I'll put the link to this page down in the video description. So yeah, like it says, it's from Xiaomi. Now guys, before we start the video, if you like my content, make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube and hit that bell icon so that you can get notifications to my latest uploads. And do follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. All the links are down in the video description. Now this product is just a thermometer plus a hygrometer. So this one does not have a clock, but if you want, they also have a version with a clock. So I'll put both the links down in the video description. Actually, I placed an order for this one. So whenever this arrives, I'll make a video on it and let you guys know. But yeah, I'll put both the links in the video description so you guys can check it out. Okay, so coming back to our thermo hygrometer, apparently this Meow Meow CE is related to Xiaomi in some other way. I think this might be a subsidiary of Xiaomi. But anyway, let's take a quick look at the box. Here's the back and just pause the video if you want to read this and by the way this one is powered by a cr2032 coin cell battery which is included in the box okay so now let's open this thing up you just pull this thing apart and oops here we go sorry about that right so inside the box we get the thermometer plus hygrometer so take it out and look at that display so I'm just gonna set this aside for a moment and then we have a user's manual and I will include this user manual at the end of the video so you guys can check it out yourself and by the way the user's manual is in English which is good so that's the user manual Let's see what we get inside so we have a little stand so you can keep your little thermometer like this then we have a sticky tape double-sided sticky tape so, so I think this is the sticky tape. This is the magnet. So yeah, this is a magnet. You take out the sticky surface and stick it on the back of the thermometer and the other side goes onto a metal surface and you can mount this thing onto a metal surface. Right, -o. so coming back to our thermo hygrometer, you can see it's a nice little compact unit. Fits into the palm, no problem. And take a look at the back and that's where you are supposed to stick the sticky tape. And let's turn it on batteries are included so you just take out this little plastic thingy and it should turn on and this is completely normal uh, that's just the characteristics of an e-ink display and you can see it is working that's your hole for the sensor so i gave the thermo hygrometer about five to six minutes to settle down and it's now giving me a temperature rating of 25.7 degrees celsius with a humidity level of 33 percent and this is absolutely correct because i have set the air conditioner to 26 degrees celsius and if i check the temperature on the remote it shows me a room temperature of 25 degrees celsius which is correct and by the way this smiley face kind of depends on the temperature and the humidity levels so look at this, I brought the thermo hygrometer outside and air conditioner is not turned on. This little smiley face is gonna turn into a frown as this thing heats up because the temperature over here is actually quite high. So we're just gonna wait. Oh yeah, there you can see it has turned into a little sad face. <laughs> so this thing actually shows the comfort level. It kind of takes into account the temperature and the humidity levels. Now I'm just gonna grab this thing with my hand and it's gonna go up. Because this thing is quite sensitive if you want a correct reading you might want to hold it with your right hand like this and let this part be free now can you guys see the advantage of having an e-ink display so this on the right is an LCD and this is an e-ink display and as soon as I move the remote like this the LCD just blacks out meanwhile you can easily read the numbers on an e-ink display another advantage of having an e-ink display is that this display does not consume any power when it's displaying stuff it consumes power only when it's refreshing so when it is displaying the static stuff it's not consuming any power so I'm guessing the battery life on this thing will be quite decent and it's displaying temperature in degrees centigrade you can change that to Fahrenheit there's a little switch uh, on the back inside over here so let's pop the back panel and see what's inside now taking the back cover off is fairly simple and easy just put in your finger over here and just gently pry the back cover off. I did this off camera just to be sure, 
but yeah this thing is held together by these clips and here at the back we have a 3 volt lithium coin cell battery CR2032 and it looks like this one is a generic Chinese battery so what I'm gonna do is replace this with a decent quality Panasonic battery so it's gonna last longer but here we have a little button changes the temperature measurement from degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit so now it is displaying temperature in degree Fahrenheit you actually have to press and hold this button for three seconds for the values to change and I've changed it back to Celsius and this thing is super duper sensitive even if I hold the thermo hygrometer with my hand like this it's gonna change very very quickly and you can see the humidity levels are rising because my finger is kind of uh, moist and the temperature will also rise so you can see how sensitive this thing is which is good because it's gonna give you a more accurate measurement now what if I remove the coin cell battery hold on a sec so there you go I have removed the battery but as you can see it is still displaying temperature and the humidity levels now obviously it's not gonna refresh because there's no battery in it but it kind of demonstrates the concept of having an e-ink display so like I said e-ink display does not consume any power when it's displaying static stuff on the screen so no battery but it's still displaying values but as you can see it's not refreshing okay got the new Panasonic battery installed it is working so let's put the cover back on so you just press it and it will clip back into its place oh and one last thing when it's time to replace the battery it's gonna display a little battery symbol over here with a cross in it so when that happens it will be time to replace the battery so guys that brings us to the end of this review video if you've enjoyed watching don't forget to hit that like button and do subscribe to me on youtube for more content so thank you for watching Stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you guys next time. So now let's quickly take a look at the user manual and fortunately it's in English so that's great and just pause the video if you want to look at a particular part of the manual. So this one shows you how to install the product. Let's move along here.